In this video, we'll take a look at how to use Panopto Video Embeds to give video feedback. In the Evaluate window, use the plus Other Insert Options item to choose Insert Stuff. In the Insert Stuff window, one of the options will be Panopto. In Panopto, you have three choices. You can either choose from an existing video to insert. You can upload a recording from your desktop Perhaps using Zoom, you've chosen to record locally, or you can record using the Panopto web capture or desktop app. If you're choosing to record right into Panopto, you'll want to rename the file with something that makes sense, perhaps the student's ID number or first initial and last name. Remember, the Panopto integration in your course should be hidden from student view. From here, whether you're using the web capture or the desktop app, you'll go ahead and launch it. In the web capture, you can easily configure your audio settings, your video camera, and any screens that you'd like to share, including perhaps the, perhaps the student's assessed items. You might choose to open that up in a Chrome tab or in another window on your desktop or PC. In this case, I'll share an entire other screen. Once that screen is shared, then you can see that you can easily scroll around to view anything that you would like to show the students. Once you are ready to record, go ahead and hit the record button. You'll get a countdown. You can discuss a few of the key takeaways and main points that you'd like the students to address. And once you're done, go ahead and hit the stop button. To preview the video, make sure it's in the right file. And then you can see that your video is already ready for editing and it is safe to close this browser window. If at any point in time you'd like to change what you've said in your video, you can easily redo that. For now, I'll hit X on this window and back in my Econistoga Evaluations window, I can insert that video right away. In my preview, I can finish the insert process and it appears in the overall feedback area. From here, I would either save a draft and continue on to the next student's work, or I would publish this content as is. For more help, reach out to teaching and learning at conestogacy.on.ca.